Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous videos, we completed the crawl section for products, but we didn't add image in the product. So in this video, we'll be adding multiple images to a product using drop zone library and spacy media library. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll install this NPM package I'll just copy it from here and I'll go here in the project and I just install it and I'll remove this dollar sign from here and npm install save dev drop zone like this. After this has been installed, we'll also install this Laravel media library. So for this, we'll just go here and copy this. All these links, I'll be adding all the links in the description just below that like button. So after this, now let me just paste this over here. It is also installed. Now we also need to do some other things like this. We need to run this and it will add one migration file. Let me just show you that over here also. It is adding this migration file and this is this migration, sorry, this media table and here are a bunch of fields present over here. We don't need to worry about this. After this, we need to run PHP artisan migrate. So I'll copy it and just paste it over here. It is migrated. And then again, I'll just copy this thing and paste it over here. It will publish a config file called media library. If I just show you over here, this is this media library and there are so many things but we don't need to worry about it currently but let's say for example you want to upload your images to bucket s3 bucket or some other thing then you can just update it over here or add this media underscore disk on the dot env file and then add that over here you can add s3 all things from the file system over here all these things are supported you can write local public s3 over here okay we have done this so it is showing me the contents of this config file over here and it is also showing me how to change the disk okay i think everything is done here so now let me go to the code over here here in this pages product create dot view file and let me show you that over here so let me go over here and whenever I click on edit, we'll be only adding images on the edit section. Whenever we click on this add new product and a product is added, we will redirect the user to the edit page and here we'll show the upload images. As we have created components for each and every input and select thing, we'll also create a component to upload an image. So let me just go over here in this, let's say here, edit input group over here I think inside if I click here then it will take me and here in the same folder I'll create image upload dot view and here I'll initialize the view 3 component and here I'll write div div and if you go here in this drop zone then you can add here like this or you can just create a div file and add it over here if you add a div tag then you need to specify the url in the javascript which we will be doing so let me just go over and we also need to give the class as a drop zone so here let's say here and it is also showing us how to import here import drop zone from drop zone like this and if you just go over here inside whenever we click there and click here in the folder structure then here inside the dist there is this drop zone dot css so let us import that as well import drop zone dist drop zone dot css like this now here i'll say class drop zone and here i'll also give you an id and it will be image upload okay 
so after this we can just do it like this over here so here i'll just copy this thing from here and i'll just do it over here like this and instead of my form here it will be image upload and instead of my drop zone let us just say here drop zone and here in the second parameter we can pass the configuration and i think here it is given over here so if you just go over here in the standalone file sorry not this one inside the setup in the imperative here we can do it like this so here we will pass the url and url will be let's say admin slash upload images we will be uploading multiple images we haven't created this url but we'll create this a little bit later and there are also so many more configuration things that we can do but we'll see that a little bit later now let me go over here in the product create and let me add that over here so let me just import that first here i'll just duplicate this and here i'll say what is the name image upload and we'll add that over here div and here we'll add it like this and here we'll say class call span dash two so that it will span through the whole width so i don't think we have to do anything else so we have done this and here everything is okay so now let me run here npm run watch and here i have upgraded to vid so it is very very fast i think you have already watched my previous video tutorial on how to upgrade mix to vid after this let me just go over here and refresh the page okay there are some errors console and it is saying invalid drop zone element on handle error during execution of the setup function sorry let us do this inside the mounted and let us import this mounted from the view i don't know why this thing will be added to mine so now let us go here and refresh the page then now we can see this it wasn't working previously because when we don't write on mounted then this thing will be executed on the on created hook if we add it here outside and on created will be called even if this thing is not rendered so we have to make sure that this div with the id is present before calling this new drop zone so we have to write it inside the on mounted now you can see here it is showing the drop files over here but we don't want this text over here we want our own text to be visible over here so for that we need to do something else so here inside we need to write something i have added this thing over here so you need to write this class and data dz message if we do it like this then this content will be so let me just remove this for now this content will be replaced over here let me just refresh so i don't need to refresh also it is already replaced so drop images here to upload and you can only upload three images we can add any information and we can pass this size from the props as well i'll add some props and just come back i have added some props over here max file size and max files with this max file size we can control the size of the file and this max files we can control the quantity of the files and we can add this configuration over here max file size is props dot max file size and this will be max files by default will allow let's say only let's say two images or let's say five images but we can pass this to limit to any number and this is also in kilobytes so let me just save it come here refresh the page and now if i click here okay it is showing me all the images since i am in the pictures but if i go here in the downloads then look here it is showing me all these csv files as well we want to make sure that user can only select the images from here so let's do that for that there is this accept files properties and here we can pass the extension so here jpg jpg and this png we only want these things to be acceptable so here if i just come here and click and images are only showing and if i click on downloads then all these things are blurred and if i just scroll down over here this png and this jpg are only selectable and now if i try to select this and click on open then you can see here this images but it is showing me this object object over here and 
it is also showing 404 not found it is automatically submitting to this admin slash upload images if you look here we have added that url over here so now let us go ahead and create this url upload images so we'll go here in the admin dot routes and here let's say route will create a post request and here will be upload images anything inside this admin will be prefixed by the admin route so we don't have to write it and now let us create a controller first let's say pa pa means php artisan make controller and let's say here admin and upload images controller now let me just uncomment it and let's say upload images controller class like this let me go over here and let me write here invoke method over here and we have to return 200 response from here in order to make sure that image is uploaded so we'll say here for now return response success if we just do right here response then by default the status code will be 200 so we'll do that now here if i try to upload another image so here it is saying 419 this means we also have to pass the csrf token but we haven't done that so let us do that so let us go to app dot blade and let us also go to beat config js and here let us write refresh true and let me just rerun this bit so basically what it does is whenever we do some changes here in the app.blade.php then it will automatically refresh here we'll add a metadata csrf token here like this meta will be csrf.token and content will be this and now we'll go here in the this drop zone js drop zone js sorry not here okay here in the image upload and here we can also pass the headers so inside this url we'll say headers and here we'll pass the headers like we used to do in the jquery we'll say here x dash csrf token and here the content will be this document dot query selector we'll select this meta from here this csrf token will use this and we'll get the content like this dot content if that browser is not able to find this then it will just return null since we are using this question mark dot okay so we'll do it like this and format it headers now let me just refresh it for now and now if i just try to upload an image so i'll just click on pictures and click this screenshot and click on open then you can see here we are seeing a tick mark and if we go here in the network then we are seeing this 200 with a success which means this image is uploaded successfully we know that it is not actually uploaded to the file system but the response is successful and if you see here guys here we have limited this max files to five so here if i just try to upload let's say another three files then also it will be uploaded so there are total four files now if i try to upload let's say another three then you can see here this thing is uploaded but this thing is showing cross because we have limited up to five and also there is this limit up to one megabytes and if i try to upload let's say let me so it is not showing remove over here and i think there is an option to show that remove and the property name is this allow remove links to and let me come here again and replace and here let me so instead of five let me just say here three or let us pass let us just do here five and max files let us pass this from here so let's say here max files equals to three like this and now if i just try to upload this three then it's completely fine but if i try to upload another one then it is showing me this one and we can also see here remove file over here so i think guys in this video we'll only be doing up to this much and in the next video we'll be actually uploading the image to the file system using spasi media library and then showing those images over here again whenever we refresh the page here then it will get lost so we'll persist that as well so thank you for watching have a great day bye